Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part 23. Uh, right now we're actually about to investigate the whole demolition going on in the shipyards because Rhino seems to be on a little rampage, but seems like he also has a little help from Scorpion, so... There is just not in this universe. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Ah, means the tent. All of my big beans to hang. Ow. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom. True freedom. No more shoot. No more. Oh, I missed. Ow. Ah, I always like this suit. So distinctive. Be thankful, Paul. Without suit, I make less trouble for you. That's true. That didn't help either. Oh, that was close. Well, what about our stimulating battle side chats? You are funny, Malik. I am almost sorry to destroy your tiny face. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Yeah, and there's Scorpion. Never send an eight ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't you? Beg him to give up? <coughs> yes, Garkin, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, oh, like an old married couple, you two. Getting his suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? You already what? know. Guardian has no principle. He fights for profit. Untrue. I raised Spider-Man's face off for free. The money supposed. <laughs> <laughs> You will know the 
Sinister Six. How about the we murdered Spider Man and used his torch for a blank? Target, please, you embarrass yourself. I already got Gargan down? Damn. I didn't hope. Stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? Yeah. There is fun in that! Come here, now. I will teach you to throw real punch! My jaw's already absorbed that particular lesson, thanks! Oh. Yeah. Rhino's stuck. Stuck with Mr. Fury. Well, that was easy. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you, freak show! Wow. Time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil threat cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's. Ooh, spirit spider. Market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leaf Devil's breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. All units, we have an active hostage situation. Location is more and more listeners are warning that... Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. There's the security room. That guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. 
Really? Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Let us upstairs before we all catch the disease. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers elevator controls in the security room. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Jeez. Fire him. Stupid, useless button. Hmm. Guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a MJ? Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder, what is this thing? Hmm, schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Kinda looks like a gobble mask. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? Wonder where it leads. The fat Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be a secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, hey, if you're gonna... Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. Wow. 
Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. Me? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Okay, July 18. Bingo. Suit, gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Norman Osborne, GR27. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Norman Osborne, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Wonder who's in there. What are these things? 
prototype hand grenades? Hmm. Wow. Norman wins the fancy. Looks like Norman's tracking doc. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's property. Sable troop deployment. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Commercial build. Wow. So many records. GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that. Uh -oh. I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. Oh, baby. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Control. We're compromised. to clear that balcony. You're amazing. <laughs> it's 
It's all so much to take in. Harry sick? Norman and Lee and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. Oh. to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, well, Norman's on his way to get I'll, the anti-serum. Uh, Better update Yuri. Episode here. Um, I hope this is good news. God damn it. it is. Oscorp just created an anti serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. Well, as I was trying to say, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, maybe think of subscribing, and, uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.